Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Last time I showed you how can you make your own Christmas audio reactive LED light. The device looks and works like on the first day. But now I want to take it to another level by making a Christmas tree LED light. Now onto making the tree. Well, it will be up to you how you design it. But I would like to share how I did mine, so at least you have a clue of how I did it. First step will be obviously to start making a crown of it, which will hold the branches of it. Think about how a tree is formed, like that you can shape it afterwards like you want. After I have grabbed some LED lights, the LED can be any but I also suggest you to get some which are battery operated, because they will be much easier to work with them. Yes, you can use main operated LED lights, but it will be a bit more tricky to sort them, but by using battery operated one it will be more easy. After you get your type of LED, no matter the color, you'll be need a different type of wire, something else similar, some thinner wire as you'll use in garden, and start snipping it to a decent length. This will be to attach the LED onto the main branch, so much in the real life the tree have colored twig. After you have sorted the LED, we can start making the tree by choosing the color of the tape. I'll be done mine white, but feel free to try making it in any way you think is nicer. Then after we got at least 20 LEDs done, we can start adding them to a pair of 2, 3, 4, or even more. It will be up to you to decide, depending on how small or big the tree you want to make. After you got all the branches done, for my tree I have used 20 LED. And I did 3 branches. This in my opinion is plenty LEDs for the tree. After that we grab the branches and isolating them together and solder them at the bottom. After that we got the tree partially done. On to the base now. The base has to be simple but sturdy. For mine I have used some old metal pipe from an old shoe racking. And insert the branches we just did. Do not overdo it, only a bit of force is be required. Then we tape it using the chosen color of the tape. And the tree is nearly done. Now we have to make the base and for that I got these cups, but you can use anything else, like a jar or a tin can and so on, just be creative. Afterwards for making the base a bit sturdy it's time to mix some concrete and also getting our hands on some pebbles or little rocks, this can be borrowed from our neighbor yard. Then we can add the rocks and add some concrete, after shaking it a bit we add more rocks and add some concrete, then the base is leaving to settle and we move on onto the controlling side of it. If you want it to be simple just to stay on, this part can be omitted. Here I got a circuit which is simple and easy to replicate. This is a simple flasher, which will give the tree a bit of more interesting appeal, than if it was just simply lit. A BC548 and 4 resistors and 1 cell flashing LED. The cell flashing LED it is the main part of it. The LED it is a simple 5mm RGB cell flashing LED. Now my tree are powered on 5 volts from my USB power bank, but it can be easily adapted on battery, only the R1 has to be changed and as well if you are planning to use it on battery, use at least 2 cells of 3 volts. After that I have designed the base for it, which can adapt this tree and as well it will be looking more interesting. The case was done using one to the design and after printing it off I start making the tree by first soldering the circuit to them and after filling the bottom side using cold glue. And like that the tree are done. To redone the LED tree for the base you can add some little extra to give it a better look. I have used for mine some little plastic diamond shapes and as well some pear buds from some pine tree and glued them as well using hot glue but you can use anything. If you are planning to make the tree just using the RGB cell flashing LED, if you are planning to use it as well only on battery, they don't need to be limited by a resistor because they take up to 3.4 volts. But if you'll be using it on 5 volts, we use at least 3 diode. The standard 0.7 drop 1 N4007 diode will do just that perfectly. After that, for some last touches to the tree, we can add some plastic snowflakes or leave them play. For some of my tree which I did, I have used some drinking straw. And cut them with a scissor and make some little flower petal for them. Something like this. Well, I hope you got inspired and as well who know how it will come if you want to give it a go. After all, this was a great project to make and as well I hope you have learned something interesting today. But now I have to say goodbye, I hope I will see you all in my next video, and then have a nice day, thank you very much for watching, see ya!